the house. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And he's not only talking to us, he's also doing what he does best, which is singing for us. He's been singing for us. He sang two songs for us already, but we're not done yet. And so, you know, when you sing, you look so natural. Um, do you get nervous? Um, sometimes. Um, definitely I'm more nervous on camera than I am on stage because on stage, um, when the spotlight's on you, you can only see the first three rows right. around that. And, um, and, like, not everyone's in your face, but, like, of course, right here, it's... Has there ever been, like, an embarrassing experience um, with singing? Have you, like, loved your words or forgotten um, something or, you know, flat-toned on something? I think all performers have a, have messed up one time or another because, um, you know, we're human. Mm -hmm. So it's, it's definitely something that everyone goes through, um, messing up a lyric, but it's always good to improv. Right. Improvise. Well, so can you remember, like, an embarrassing experience that happened to you? I remember one time I was singing... Um, when I was singing I Who Have Nothing, I really, I messed up the words. Uh -huh. um, I don't remember the exact experience, but I just remember um, I, f I felt the lyrics. Right. Yeah. How hard are you on yourself? Oh, well, uh, definitely there's a, a mindset that I go through whenever I'm on the day of a concert of, a, of any type of gig. Right. Um, it's, it's a lot more serious than I than I usually am, because I'm, I'm pretty goofy. Right. Is there a pre-concert or a pre-show ritual that you do? Um, definitely praying. That's that's a big one mm -hmm. on my part. What do you pray for? I pray that um, that the show will turn out good. I'll give everyone um, what they came for. Mm -hmm. to, a good performance, um, make them happy. Right. What about after the show? Let's say, for example, you mess up, and then after, like, how many hours after, how many days after do you dwell on it, or do you not, or how soon after do you just shrug it off your? Well, usually when I mess up, my dad is very serious about it, but sometimes he also has the as that saying, oh, I was the only one that noticed it, don't worry. And sometimes that, that lets me off easy. Right, but okay, so working with your dad, a lot of you, you're 14, a lot of p uh, young kids going through puberty the same way that you're going through, and they don't really want to spend as much time with their parents. But you, uh, you your dad is always with you, also your mom. So is that, what are your thoughts on that? I mean, are you okay with that? Are you, you know? Um, when I was young, my dad would take me everywhere. My mom and dad would take me everywhere because we always, um, even like when it was away from performing, mm -hmm. um, like whenever we would go on a trip or a, or a vacation. It's the, always the three of you. Yes. Okay. And so now you're, you just got used to having your dad there. Yeah. Is, that, is your dad your sort of like a best friend? Yeah, he's, um, he's, um, he's also my manager, but mm. we, we're like, we have this bond that um, I feel it's, it's really strong, and I don't think anyone can, can divide that. Right. Oh, how nice. A father and son uh, bond. Does he teach you how to speak Tagalog? Do you understand how I, to I understand very, very little. Um, but speaking Tagalog, I haven't really grasped that yet. Uh -huh. So you don't speak Tagalog, but you sing Tagalog. How do you do that? Um, I just memorize the words because I, I have... Um, it's very easy for me to understand. To, to memorize. Put feeling and, okay. Yeah, the book feeling, even if I don't understand it, um, I know what it, let other people know what it means, so I have to at least, like, act like. Right, this I've got to see because um, now he is going to be singing a Tagalog song for us. What is this Tagalog song? I will be rendering one of Martin Navarro's favorite songs. Which is? Ikaw. Why? Why are you, why do you like this song, particular song? Well, because the, in the beginning of the lyrics, Ikaw ang bigay ng may kapal. I hope I said that right. Right. Um, it, um, from what my dad tells me, or from what, like he translated it, he says it means you were given to me by the Lord. Okay. And um, this song is dedicated to you, of course. Oh, and, thank you. And to everybody who has helped me to get to where I am today. All right, here he is, Edsel Sotyanko with Ikao. Ang bigay ng may kapal Tugon sa aking dasal Upang sa lahat ng panahon Kakataon 
ang ibigin ko'y ikaw ang lahat ng aking galaw ang sanhi 